You are watching Geocaching with Hailmeister. Boom. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to go inside of a restaurant for an event this morning, and I'll also be attending an event later on this evening. I'll take you to that as well. But first things first, let's do this morning event here. And I am hungry, I haven't eaten yet, and it was like an hour and a half drive here today. So I am in the suburbs of Chicago. I am in the Naperville, Aurora area of Illinois. I also have a few geocoins that I've been holding on for way too long and some travel bucks as well and I'll be happy to get rid of them today and I'm sure the owners will be happy to see them move around a little bit. All right, well thanks for coming along with this episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. If you like this episode at any time during the video, you can go ahead and click that subscribe box that's right there. Let's get to it. I'm hungry and let's go find some geocaches. Uh, somebody different with me today. Somebody's never been in one of my videos. Hi. It's Tanya 209. She's with me today. We're gonna go find a whole bunch and uh, go to an event later on today. We found our first cache of the day. Obviously, it was on the ground. I'm pretty sure that's not where it's supposed to be. We're gonna sign the log and put it back where we think it's supposed to go. Oh my gosh, a spider! of those who haven't found a cache this size before this is what you call a nano and it actually seems to be a little bit shorter than your typical nano oh, man on to the next one I love cool camouflage jobs like this. It's uh, kind of special and kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> Wait a minute. We got doubles. <laughs> Gotta love it when a geocache gives you somewhere to sit, relax, sign the logbook. Triangle, circle, strikes again. Wait a minute, you just see what I saw? There's also a Munzee here too. You better believe I'm gonna get that thing. Okay, we are 75 feet away from a hide that's right off this parking lot, it's a regular size. What are you thinking, Tanya? Thing in that hill looks steep. <laughs>
love when geocaches bring you to the cool spots and even though this one's pretty urban, got this cool waterfall here. I picked up a few people along my travels. I got Blue Screw with me here. We got Gene behind me. We got this Todd right here. <laughs> Still have Tiny with me, of course. She's up there a little bit. And we also have another person with us, Sunshine Face, also known as Lisa, in the non-geocaching world. And there's a geocache up here. It appears to be a tree climb, and good thing that Todd's a monkey. I guess he's gonna go up for us, so. Approximately three feet off the ground. <laughs> Brett. They didn't even have to call in the medics. Yep. Well, look at that. Big old pine cone. I don't even know if it's real or not. Feels kind of real. Feels, feels real. Yeah. Quite a pine cone. Bison tube there on the end. Yeah, really cool. Really cool cache. Cash pants dance. Yeah. My cash pants. I got my cash pants on. You see my cash pants. You see my cash pants Right, this geocache has 23 favorite points on it currently and we'll probably have about five more if we find it and it's really cool. What are you doing there Todd? I'm trying to give back some of the burrs that decided to go for a ride with me. <laughs> There, Todd. I've got food for for the fundraiser for the food pantry. Now we're here at our second event for the day. This one's at Bud Ruckers in Downers Grove. We're having a food drive here, like Todd said earlier in the video, and we're eating some good burgers and some good fries. Mmm, delicious. with the event host, Mike Sweeney, also known as Greenback, and talk about this event, what it means, and how successful it's been over the years. What's up, Mike? Hello. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out to my event today. Yes. This is, uh, Mike Sweeney, also known as Greenback. How long have you been cashing, Mike? Oh, gosh. Uh, 15 years. 15 years. So my 15 year anniversary was in June of this year. Wow. And so in 15 years, how many fines do you have? Um, it's a piddly little number, like 23,000 and something. 23,000, wow. And I just celebrated my 9,000, so. I saw that. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, Mike, uh, thanks for the event today. And I know that you're putting on this event uh, with honor of raising canned goods and non-perishables for the Northern Illinois Food Bank? Right. Yeah, I started in 2009. 2009, so, so we're looking quite at... Quite a few years under yeah. our belt here now. Eight, eight years? years. Yeah. Yeah, a number of years ago, I just was kind of participating in events. Geocaching is becoming kind of a community and everybody was getting together for social events. And I really thought that there should be more than just getting together and eating and you know, talking about our favorite pastime, so. So, I'm looking up there as I walk in and sign in the log. I see boxes of food all over on the table and the floor and 
and ramen noodles and cans of soup and all sorts of cool stuff, right? Yeah. Any idea on how many pounds of food you've raised, helped raise through geocaching events through those nine years? It's just over 3,000 pounds oh. and over $2,000. Wow, wow. Yes, is the generosity of uh, geocachers around the area? It's primarily geocachers. Um, the, on the, the monetary side, there have been some corporate matching donations, including Fuddruckers. Um, I think they've donated about $600. Well, I'm sure the Northern Illinois Food Bank thanks you. Yeah. Uh, and once again, I thank you for putting on this event. Sure. Thanks for the interview and the time. Sure, thank you. And, and he's also a subscriber to my yeah. channel. So. And I've enjoyed watching your videos. Particularly your cash and pants dance. Cash pants dance? Well, yeah. you know what? I did the cash pants dance today, so it'll be on this video as well. Oh, good. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. If you want to be a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe box right there, and you'll also be uh, notified, like Mike is here, of the new videos that I put out. And thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Be Well, that's the day, as it were. Tanya and I got about 45 to 50 finds a day and had a great day overall. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Click that box right there if you want to see more geocaching videos that I produce. Click that box right there if you want to see some family activity videos that I produce. Again, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.